when you meditate while listening to a Dharma talk, 99% of your attention should be with the meditation. So right now, 99% of your attention should be with the breath. Notice how it feels when it comes in, know it has, how it feels when it goes out. Try to stay with that sensation of the breathing. That's so anything else that comes into the mind, you can let it go. That applies to a principle that Buddha called yoni so manasikara, appropriate attention. And it applies both to the listening and to the meditation. When you're listening, you have to ask yourself, this Dharma lesson I'm learning today, how does it apply to the problems in my life? Particularly, how does it apply to the problem of my stress and suffering? And to my desire to put an end to that stress and suffering. And then you look into your own mind and see what in the mind is heading in the direction of stress and suffering, and you let it go. Right now you want to stay on the path, which is composed of virtue, concentration, and discernment. And you're practicing the concentration, trying to give rise to a sense of well-being as you stay with the breath. So any thoughts related to that are useful. Those would be appropriate attention. Any thoughts that would pull you away are inappropriate attention. Because remember, the Buddha never taught bare awareness or bare attention. It's either appropriate or inappropriate. It's the questions you ask yourself. Bare attention is, the question is basically, duh, and that's it. Whereas the appropriate attention, the question is, what am I doing that's causing suffering? How can I stop? What could I do to build the path to the end of suffering? How do I develop that? So right now, as mindfulness comes, you don't just watch mindfulness come and go. It's feelings of pleasure, feelings of pain come and go. You ask yourself, how can I develop the feelings of pleasure that are conducive to getting the mind to settle down? How can I let go of the things that would make trouble out of the pains? Because the body's going to have pains for sure here and there. Ever since it was born, it's been feeling pain one way or another. If nothing else, there's always the pain of hunger. But the, the important thing is how to make sure that the physical pains don't cause pain in the mind. You have to ask yourself, okay, what in my mind is, am I doing right now that would pull a physical pain and make it mine, make it my problem, make it weigh the mind down? What can I do to stop that? What qualities of the mind do I need to develop? And a good questioning attitude is good, learning how to ask the right questions. Because when you ask the right questions, okay, then you get useful answers. And that's how the practice develops discernment. It's through asking the right questions. That's what appropriate attention is all about. So when something comes up in the mind, you have to ask yourself, not, do I like this, or is this one of my favorite thoughts, is this something? You have to ask yourself, what would be the long-term consequences of thinking this thought? And you realize the long-term consequences would be bad, you learn how to drop it. If they would be good, okay, then you can continue. So for right now, questions about the breath, questions about how to get the mind to stay with the breath, those are good questions. Stick with those. Questions about what other people are doing right now, what the world is like right now, those are not useful questions at the moment. They have their time and place, but not right now. When you're able to divide your acts of attention this way into being appropriate or inappropriate, that's when you get the most out of listening to a Dharma talk, and that's when you most, get the most out of your own practice.